has a new project to crow about. <laughs> yes, crow. He's constructing a giant new tourist attraction in Georgia. And if you haven't gotten the drift yet, <laughs> it's going to be Instagram worthy. Better believe you know it. those sculpted bushes at Disney that kind of look like animals? Uh -huh. Well, it's like that, but on a much grander scale. Here's Emily Stroud. They're famous for their chickens. Burmese chickens strutting through the town of Fitzgerald in south central Georgia. The town features metal chicken sculptures. It will host the Fitzgerald Wild Chicken Festival in late March. But it needs something to squawk about, a real feather in its cap, to move it up in the tourism pecking order. Mayor Jim Puckett pitched an excellent idea. And some people think it's the greatest idea in the world. Some people think I've lost my mind. That's what people are go to Fitzgerald for, not for the fried chicken, but just to look at the chicken. And uh, now we're giving them more reason to do so with uh, this scale of a beast. Joe Kite, known as Topiary Joe, is creating that beast. He and his crew here in Teleco Plains bend steel into frames that will be draped with living plants or moss or vines. You can see some of his creations in his yard on Cherahala Skyway. He's made thousands of topiary animals, from elephants to giraffes. He works on a giant scale, creating custom topiary for clients around the world. Building the Ferrari in Dubai for um, with the Formula One car inside of a Ferrari shop. That was absolutely fun. Topiary Joe and Mayor Puckett came up with this rendering, a giant topiary chicken. <laughs> they started clucking all around the room and I just like joined in and we were just like having a good time. The mayor set his sights on a landmark in suburban Atlanta. We wanted to build a chicken bigger than the one in Marietta. The big chicken in Marietta is 56 feet tall. This penguin structure is 10 feet tall. The chicken will be six times as tall. 62 feet or so and um, it's going to have be covered in a cloth material with plants coming through the cloth that are in hanging baskets with on drip irrigation all inside of their of the chicken. Also inside the chicken a room for rent as a bed and breakfast. The mayor said he's going to write a book about all the jokes and everything that are coming out of this. So. <laughs> you got any G-rated ones you can share with us? No. <laughs> a book full of foul jokes. What do you call a gathering of chickens? <laughs> flock! Flock! I'll get some flock out of this, I'm sure. The town didn't have to scratch around for money to fund the $150,000 project. A tourism fund will pay for it. But we are using this to draw people to Fitzgerald, and so far it's, it's, done, it's, it's done its job and it's not even built yet. Topiary Joe isn't winging it. With careful planning, the steel structure should be ready for the chicken festival in March. Can't make this stuff up. <laughs> I'm Emily Stroud, live at 5 at 4. <laughs> what a character. That is going to be one big chicken. Yeah, you better believe it. And you can actually watch that chicken being <clears throat> built live on the Fitzgerald Chicken Cam. Yes, they have that. And it's on our website. And we will, yes, probably click on that and show it to you from time to time <laughs> just to see the progress.